because I know that they definitely eat a lot of goats and uh, they eat goat's head, goat sheep, um, goat's brain, goat's intestine, goat's everything. Um, I don't even eat the meat. So, so to be on the safe side, I actually told the uh, tour guide that I'm actually a vegetarian. So just to be safe, because even if they give me a stick of carrot, I should be okay with it. Okay. Yeah, it's a little gamey. It's not bad. Mm. 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 <laughs> mm. Mm. <laughs> it's an acquired taste. Mm. So a lot of times when you travel to foreign places, the, one of the things, at least for me, uh, that I worry about is food, uh, especially to places like Mongolia. And if you don't eat lamb, it will be a problem in Mongolia because Mongolia most consume protein here. If I were to venture out a guess, is actually lamb. I mean, lamb is it's like chicken here. It's, it's really common. I mean, you can find other protein, especially in big cities like Ulaanbaatar. Uh, but if you go to countryside, that could be a problem, uh, especially if um, you go to live with a, at a gear uh, with the uh, host nomadic family, though chances are they'll probably serve you lamb. So in cases like that, where you, you want to eat a, a really decent meal and you don't want to go hungry, um, I, you can actually bring your own food. And my favorite uh, thing to bring is actually noodles. It's actually dried noodles that you can find uh, in uh, many of the grocery stores in Chinatown or even online. Uh, there is a, uh, this brand is actually a Hong Kong brand. It's called, in Cantonese, it's called Sao Tou Pai. Sao Tou Pai. Uh, they make different flavors. There is the, the wonton uh, noodle flavors, and then there is the abalone flavor. For those of you who don't know, abalone is actually, uh, at least in the Asian community, well, actually the Chinese community, is the most prized uh, sea snails. So this is Sao Tou Pai, is, is the brand that I love to bring. Actually, I just saran wrapped it to save space in my luggage. If you were to only bring one, you can bring the whole uh, uh, one package. It's really, the packaging is like a cup noodle because it enables you to just pour hot water in it. But in my case, I actually, I brought more than one. So I just saran wrapped it with the flavoring uh, and the powder packet. And the noodles is actually, it's not, not fried, it's actually egg noodles, but it's actually a dried up egg noodles. So if you actually put it in hot water for a few minutes, it becomes regular al dente noodles, uh, but it's never fried. Okay, so remember this brand. Uh, they are not paying me to endorse this brand, but it's really the brand that I bring with me when I travel. So what I do then locally then is, um, actually this is abalone flavor. So when I was traveling in South Africa, because I was actually in South Africa before I came to Mongolia, we were visiting uh, the, one of the abalone uh, farms in uh, Hermanus Bay, which is about two hours away from Cape Town. And, you know, of course, uh, we were looking at the uh, abalone products. So she suggested that I actually uh, buy a mini can of abalone. So, you know, all of you know that, you know, most of the canned food, actually all of the canned food are Coke. Um, so... For me to have a little uh, can of abalone from Heart of Abalone, that's the brand, hold it nicely, Heart of Abalone, right? I think it holds at least a few abalone inside. So this makes a great toppings for my noodles. And of course, it's really healthy because it has abalone, water, salt, and no preservative. 
It's as simple as that. So you just open that up. Uh, it's cooked already, but if you want to heat it up, you put it in with the noodles as you pour the hot water in just to heat it up. Uh, it's really great texture. So this, is, this makes a great topping uh, for my abalone instant noodle. I don't want to call it ramen because it's not Japanese. It's instant noodles, Hong Kong style, okay? So it's Hong Kong. It's not Japanese, yo. I love to eat vegetables as well. Especially in places like Mongolia, after you have spent a few days in the countryside, you really want vegetables. Uh, the, the other vegetable is uh, chunks of apples uh, thrown together with mayonnaise. So that's not vegetable. So you really want vegetables. So you can go to a local grocery store. And uh, amazingly, they do sell vegetables here. So I pick up this bag of lettuce from the Mini Mark uh, for 25 cents US. Of course, you know, bring a pair of chopsticks. If you if you really want to uh, create the mood of eating Chinese food, uh, you know, you have tons of these chopsticks from Chinese takeout, so bring a pair with you. Uh, if you're too paranoid, you can always bring your own bottled water to make the hot water with. Uh, but usually, you know, any water, if you boil it, yeah, you'll be fine. You won't get diarrhea or anything. And of course, last but not least, you know, if you're bringing more than one packet of these noodles, uh, you would bring your own plastic container. Um, you know, because you have removed all the packaging to pour the water in. So you, you bring a plastic container with a lid on it because you want to close the lid and let it sit for 5-10 minutes for the noodles to soften. So that's really the list of ingredients. Um, so now I'm going to show you how to make it. So it's, it's as easy as one, two, three. It's very simple. I cannot wait to eat it. Oh my god, look at this. So anyways, let me just take one of the abalone first. Mmm. The abalone texture is actually an acquired taste. It's actually chewy um, and rubbery. So if you didn't grow up eating it, you probably don't like it. But for Chinese people, uh, this is a delicacy um, so let me try the noodles so if you look at the noodles it's actually like the wonton noodles that you get in Chinatown um, it's exactly the same it was just dehydrated mmm al dente the soup is very savory as well you can drink the soup mmm and eat the lettuce. I mean, it's, you know, it's just lettuce, but it's perfect. Mm. When you travel, you have to eat well as well. So, so this noodle makes a great noodle for you to bring along as you go out on a limb. I'll see you soon.